Hello and good afternoon, everyone. Thomas Hyman here, and I just want to take some time to give you an update about what I see as a possibility for your business. Um, obviously, we're all in this together as real estate professionals, and um, it goes without saying that a contraction is expected, and everyone's talking about you know all these horrible things that are going to happen to us. Um, as transactions dry up. And I really want to take a moment to focus on the positives for you as an agent, because I believe whatever you focus on, you will manifest. So let's focus on the positive. And there are some things going on right now and some things that you can do and some things that will happen very soon that will really make a difference. And if you, if you bear with me and focus on these things, you might find that this could have been a pivotal, pivotal time to really take your business to the next level. So let's go down the list. It starts with unemployment benefits. So if your business is declining, drying up, there's some unprecedented opportunity for you to actually tap into the various relief efforts that are being put out there. And it starts with unemployment, which is the state unemployment benefit plus $600 per week. So you can expect about $875 a week. That's over $45,000 per year net. So that would translate into, gosh, almost $60,000 of regular wages. And uh, a lot of realtors are going to actually make more money on these benefits than they're actually making right now selling real estate. So this is a huge opportunity for you to actually put some resources into your pockets. And yes, it's going to be slow. And yes, it's going to take a few more days here in Florida until the 10th or 11th, until you can actually apply for it as an independent contractor, but it is available there. And it is money in the bank, basically. It's going to happen. It's going to come to you. You just have to apply for it. And this is going to make it a lot easier for you to sustain this period. There's also a number of other um, relief resources, or there are a number of other relief resources that you can tap into. Uh, the PPP loan, for example, which is the Paycheck Protection Program, you as an independent contractor agent or self-employed person are eligible for that as well. And then you can also apply directly to the SBA for emergency disaster relief under the Economic Injury Relief Program. And you can even ask for a $10,000 upfront emergency relief fund payment that does not have to be repaid. So there are some very unique resources available. They're going to take time, probably weeks, maybe a month until you see the money, but it is there for you and you will be able to tap into it. To me, one of the biggest benefits if things slow down for you is that you actually will now have time to work on your business as opposed to work in your business. Um, you know, one of the things that I've learned very early on and has been put back into my brain and repeated over and over and over again, uh, starting with some very early coaches that I had, then when, once I got into real estate, the Craig Proctor program, and later Tony Robbins Business Mastery, they're all talking about the need to work on your business, not in your business. And the truth is when we're so busy, responding to marketing and leads and opportunities, and you're out there working with buyers and sellers, there's very little time left to actually work on your business. Ask yourself, when was the last time that you took off for two, three, four, five days to actually work on your business? Now you have that opportunity. So use that time wisely and use it to grow your own personal development and to work on your business. Uh, look at planning. What do you want your business to look like um, next year, the next five years? You know, what are the things that you need to improve? What are the things that you need to learn? What are some of the skills that you need to learn to really be the best that you can be? Um, you also want to focus on updating your relationships. You know, this is another aspect you have time for now to really you know, make your list who are all the people that you have touched in the past two, three years. Customers, past customers, missed opportunities, personal connections, and reach out to them. You know, make a phone call, 
send a personal video email, use BombBomb, send personalized video emails to those people. Uh, send note cards. If you don't like to do handwritten note cards or you don't have any handwritten note cards, check out sendnotecards.com where you can do handwritten cards. Uh, and there are other companies as well um, that, that are mailed directly to that person. So really look at updating your relationships, reconnecting, and nothing is more powerful than a phone call or ideally a video call, maybe a uh, Skype call or a um, FaceTime call, and just reignite your relationships that could become your bank as you pull out of this. The agents that are working their spheres effectively are generally the ones that are generating significant stream of business without the need to spend any money on advertising and marketing. Now, here's your opportunity to really focus on that. Um, you want to focus getting back to the training side on learning new skills as they pertain to distress sales. I believe we're going to come out of this very strong and there's going to be a lot of pent up demand on one hand because right now a lot of people are holding off on things. So you have sellers that are holding off on their listings, maybe taking it off temporary of the market. We see a lot of TOMs being entered. Um, you have buyers that are just holding off until this all blows over. So when we start to get out of this, there will be a lot of pent up demand naturally. But I also believe, and so do most experts, that there is going to be a tremendous opportunity for REOs and short sales because there will be people that uh, will have lost their jobs, will have lost their business, have defaulted on their mortgages, and list pendants will be filed, and there will be opportunities for short sales for foreclosure mitigation. And uh, this could also result in downward pressure on prices. We don't know what's going to happen yet. I don't think prices are going to crash to the extent that we saw in 2008, but it's very possible that we will have a cascading effect where people are in default, and you're going to see distress sales, and that's going to put downward pressure on prices, and that might trigger some other people to go into default uh, that maybe have to sell, but now they're no longer able to sell the normal way because there's no more equity left. A lot of people have very little equity in their homes, and so that could create additional short sale opportunities. So one of the things that I would definitely do is focus on building up your skill set and getting the SFR certification. That is the NAR short sale and foreclosure resource certification. And uh, that will come in very, very handy. Um, and you may also want to look into opportunities to do BPOs, broker prize opinions. BPOs are a great way to get your foot in the door with asset managers that are looking to eventually list bank owned properties. So um, go ahead and make that part of your education and self-development and training plan. Last but not least, you may also want to re-examine your tax situation. This is another one of those things that in a lot of agents' minds takes up a lot of time. Um, it's very expensive because they think they need to hire an attorney and spend thousands of dollars to do that. And so they're putting off on setting up their LLC or PA. So you want to set up a PLLC ideally. Um, there are very few reasons why somebody would want to set up a corporation, i.e. a PA, instead of an LLC. For 99.99% .99 of all real estate professionals, a PLLC is the way to go. It's just much easier. You don't have the year-end corporate governance issues. We need to have shareholder meetings and board of director meetings and so forth that are required for a corporate entity like a PA. Um, but this is the time to do that. Even if you're just relatively successful, even if you're just making $50,000, $60,000 a year, uh, you can have some significant tax savings by utilizing uh, an LLC for your business. So again, this is a perfect time to do it. Uh, you have some downtime. You can go to sunbiz.org if you're in Florida and register your PLLC. You can go to the IRS and get the EIN and do the um, election to be taxed as a subchapter S corporation and um, get your license transferred into the name of your 
PLLC. If you are not familiar with the process, then um, I do recommend that you talk to an attorney because you want to make sure that your entity is named properly and that you do get it classified as a uh, Subchapter S corporation for tax purposes. But many of you will be able to do it uh, themselves. Um, so again, this is a great time to get ready for what I think is going to be um, an exciting wave of business. Um, when we went through the crisis in 2008, a lot of agents and brokers went out of business. Um, I was just perplexed personally by the number of agents that refused to look at short sales and REOs as an opportunity uh, because that's really where the money was. And um, I myself did extremely well with short sales. I used to do trainings on short sales. I was known as quote unquote, Mr. Short Sales at the time. And, um, and there were many, many, many other agents that did extremely well during that time because they anticipated and prepared and took advantage of that opportunity. The same thing is gonna happen here. So we don't know how long this coronavirus thing is gonna take. We don't know how severe the impact is gonna be on the economy. We don't know what's gonna happen with the housing market. Is it gonna be flat? Is it gonna to continue to go up? Is it going to go down? Is it gonna crash? We don't have any control over those things. And anyone that's gonna say, this is what it will be like, um, is just, you know, just fantasizing because there's no way to know. This reminds me of our association here kicking off the it's time to buy campaign as the crash was happening and then property values ended up being 35, 40% below that point. So everyone that listened to the now is the time to buy campaign ended up losing money. But what you do have control over is anticipate opportunities and be ready for them. So be ready for that pent up demand, be ready for listing opportunities, be ready for buyer opportunities uh, and be ready for distress sale, short sale, foreclosure opportunities so that no matter what's going to come your way, you're going to be ready and you'll be able to thrive in a fantastic way. So hope you got some uh, ideas out of this. I'm Thomas Hyman, and I appreciate you taking the time to watch this. If you like this content and you saw this on YouTube, please click on the subscribe button and I look forward to talking to you again soon. Bye-bye.